Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, this lecture we will be discussing the female external genitalia. So let's begin. The female external genitalia, we call that the, the vulva, um, uh, is the whole area. The mons pubis is the hairy part, the eminence anterior to the symphysis pubis with the feminine distribution of hair. Feminine, I mean the hair has an upper horizontal limit, upper horizontal uh, border. This is the feminine distribution of hair. And you should pay attention to this even in male patients, uh, especially with liver disease, because sometimes the hormonal imbalance leads to the feminine um, uh, criteria, like the feminine distribution of hair. The labia majora, the labia majus, is a skin, as a fold of skin and connective tissue, uh, unite anteriorly and posteriorly, see, anterior and posterior, and the outer surface is pigmented, the inner surface is pink and devoid of hair, and smooth, with high number of sebaceous glands uh, in it. The posterior surface of the labium majus attaches to the round ligament of uterus as we can, uh, as we remember. The round ligament of uterus ends by joining the back of the labium uh, majus. The labia minora are cutaneous folds uh, devoid of fat. They have no fat in them, or just erectile tissue. Bound to the vest bound the vestibule. This is the area of the vestibule, this cavity. Uh, anterior end splits to form above the clitoris the prepuce and below it the frenulum uh, of the clitoris. Posteriorly, the uh, posterior the two labia minora unite and form the frenulum of the labia minora. Frenulum of the labia minora. So anterior they form the prepuce and the frenulum of the clitoris, posterior they form the frenulum of the labia uh, minora. The vestibule, uh, the area between the labia minora, contains the urethral opening, this is the urethral opening, the vaginal orifice, this is the vaginal orifice, and the lesser vestibular, uh, vestibular glands. The clitoris is made of two corpora, uh, uh, caver uh, cavernosa only. There is no corpus spongiosum in the clitoris and a glans clitoris. Glans clitoris expansion of the distal uh, end. The vaginal introitus is a sagittal slit. This is part of the natural protection for females because the outer uh, opening is a slit-like, a vertical, and the vaginal walls are horizontal, anterior and posterior walls, so it brings the opening into a minimum to protect against organisms on the outside. Um, uh, the bulbs of the vestibule on the sides of the vestibule, they represent the corpus spongiosum. They united in male uh, uh, to form the corpus spongiosum, but here they remain split. And the greater vestibular gland, which is the Bartholin's gland, or the bulbourethral gland, we said in the female it will descend to the superficial perineal pouch, and here it is, while in male it, it remains in the deep perineal pouch while its duct pierces the perineal membrane and opens into the superficial perineal uh, pouch. The duct of the vestibular gland is 2 cm long, and opens at the junction of the hymen and the labium minus. See, see the duct opens at the junction of the hymen and the labium minus. Sometimes uh, uh, dry secretions or thick secretions occlude the duct, leads to swelling and inflammation of the gland called bartholinitis or bartholin cysts. Uh, it's a common female infection and at the crudy of the clitoris attaches to the ischiopubic cremae. See, these are the crudy of the clitoris. They are the same crudy of the penis, but here they are um, slim than the male and they attach to the clitoris. Okay, 
The hymen is a membrane or mucus fold just within the orifice. It may be complete, imperforate hymen. It may be elastic. It may be semilunar, it has a concave upward, a concave border upwards, maybe absent, maybe crib reform, maybe anything. So, uh, um, um, it, different criteria for the hymen, and the doctor should uh, uh, pay attention to this when examining a female. Okay. The vagina is a fibromuscular tube lined by non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Anterior wall is shorter than the posterior wall, as you can see here. It has anterior and posterior walls. The cut section is H-shaped and widens uh, superiorly. Anterior uh, is the urinary bladder, the urethra, and the terminal ureters. Posterior is the rectum and the anal canal. Lateral is the levator and eye muscle, and uh, attached to the uh, cervix, the anterior wall. See, the cervix enters the anterior wall, forming a continuous groove called the fornix. For description, it's divided into posterior fornix, anterior fornix, and two lateral fornices. This is the posterior fornix. See, right below the recto uh, uterine pouch of Douglas. The mucosa of the uh, vagina shows median ridge on anterior and posterior walls with many transverse folds. This is to uh, tightly close the walls of the vagina to a protection from the outside. The mucosa also is thicker and rich in glycogen this glycogen is destined to be acted upon by the Dodderlin bacilli, uh, natural inhabitant of the vagina bacteria, so they render the vagina, vagina fluid acidic. This acidic media is the first line of defense against the sperms. The semen is alkaline, so um, the weak sperms uh, will die and will not be able to continue in this acidic uh, media. Also, acidic media is a kind of a sterile media. No mucous glands in the vagina. Lower end surrounded by the bulbous spongiosus muscle at the vestibule. And it has longitudinal and circular muscle fibers interlacing obliquely. This is the vagina. See that? The blood supply, of course, from the vaginal artery, from the middle rectal artery, podundal and uterine of internal iliac artery, venous drainage uh, through vaginal plexus, uterovaginal plexus into internal iliac lymph nodes. Lymphatics, the upper part uh, with the uterine artery to the external and internal iliac lymph nodes the middle part with vaginal artery to uh, internal iliac lymph nodes and lower part uh, below to superficial inguinal um, uh, lymph nodes. The nerve supply is from the inferior hypogastric plexus uh, on the lateral pelvic wall. Um, um, it reaches uh, via arteries uh, from uterovaginal plexus of nerves High uh, in parasympathetic supply, which leads to vasodilation of vessels and all erectile tissue in the area. Uh, lower part uh, shared by the pudendal nerve. And um, um, in uh, females, uh, after multiple deliveries and weakening of the ligaments, there is a, a case called vaginal prolapse in which the vagina uh, drops down and gets out of the body inverted, takes with it the urinary bladder as vasicocele or the rectum as uh, the rectocele. Okay, so this is the external um, um, genitalia of the female. I hope you got the maximum benefit from this lecture and thank you very much for watching.